We're back with another lit video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button down below. Also, if you haven't liked, click that button. Below. This topic right here is going to be about myself and I and how I've allegedly just gotten into some things. Right now, I'm just on my way to work. So, I'm just taking this journey back here. This is what I usually do. Just look at how nature is when it's all quiet at nighttime. So I'm just walking across. Just stringing through. I used to just wonder about not necessary thing, but not saying too necessary, not necessary, but I guess it's just the fact of you just never know who's watching you. And now I'm finding out, you know, it's that it's drawing to me. It's fascinated of following along with certain things that uh, life just gives that. Um, particular thing that I'm supposed to call for. Motherfuckers out here will try to fucking take you out and do what you gotta do, but you just gotta continue to do what you built for yourself. Vibe it out. Follow your heart. Like, I don't know. That's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to do what I have to do. And just stay focused. I'm really like the type of person to do this, but I said fuck it. <sighs> so, here we are. Down these little areas that I want to go. I would love to live in this area, it sounds pretty interesting, but it just takes time for it is. I'll show you around. Be like, hey, governor. <laughs> I think it's kind of pretty over here in this area. So this topic is going to be a little bit different, but what's up YouTube? This is your boy Darno back with another lit video. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't liked, click that button right down below. I'm going to get started on this. Honestly, I just got off work right now and I have a lot on my mind right now. Let's talk about this topic. I was getting asked all the time to make videos about my lifestyle of how I lived it and what happened to me in my past. Um, so this topic is going to be about how I was played, I guess. Say, but honestly, I never really get played. Like, I'm really the type of person. Like, if somebody thinks they're gonna play me, it's not about being in a relationship with the person. It's really more about me valuing my own commitment. Like I always said in my last videos. But towards that uh, altercation, uh, let's see where we can start. I've been dating a certain person for like almost eight years. Within the priority of the eight years, I didn't know that this person actually had a committed other relationship with actually. Uh, woman and had kids too by the way um, I did met the children's lovely children's um, you can't stop that nature is what it is and that's life I'm a very very private person but this person I don't know on the other hand he was not private um, he was like a really a fame whore like I think he just wanted the more of a uh, detention because he knew that he had it from multiple women and multiple men and that was just his choice of him living that lifestyle I learned it in the ending of finding out um, getting through someone that I've actually have trustable uh, friendship wise so if the less the more I think of it the less I would be happy of it you get what I mean if I said it right I'm just trying to make myself happy. I don't want to even think about it, is what I was thinking to myself the whole entire time. So I had mentally just like blocked out anything, any cause of that relationship. So that was a tough time for me in my life because this person, they gave me sleep signals. I had so many problems for myself, like ununderstood moments for myself. And the gain of it is like really was like loyalty, promises that I've known I give to someone else. But like that relationship was, it was something like it wasn't healthy. I, it was abusive. I was finding myself always getting hurt, um, always bleeding, obviously. Um, always getting told words that I shouldn't be told of. 
Uh, people told me that I was called a lot of faggots because I'm purposely just to be slept with with somebody else. Not to be putting my business out there, but it's just life. Like, you're gonna take this from any man. Just, just, just chill. You're like, why do you always say men ain't shit? The reason why I say men ain't shit, even though I'm a guy, I say that is because I've been through a lot of shitty ass relationships that were not even like physical. It was a mental state in my mindset. I'm so used to always having like a long distance relationship due to my past, but it doesn't, it didn't never affect me. It's just that's something that I was just always into. Like I liked the, the knowing that, but maybe one day I might want to leave and go to another state. Can you really be reliable? Can I trust you enough to when I have my loyalty when I do leave you around you? Um, when I'm not around your site, are you a loyal person to me? You know, that's my shit I look at. This person on the hand gave me hell. I, I don't want this whole conversation to be a topic about that particular thing, but it just, the topic of it was knowing that men ain't shit purely. So you have to make that knowledgeable reasons to knowing that why you are purposely to be known for that relationship that you have. I've learned the math of that shit, like the chemistry of someone just by eyesighting you and knowing who you are is a beautiful thing. But if that person doesn't love you, then that shit sucks like a motherfucker. I, like I said, I've been in relationships that they're, 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 I can be true, true to you. They'll lie to me. They'll lie to me over just because they seen something that you never knew that someone had more fortune than you or something that was two steps ahead of you. Maybe someone that was two ahead of you. But always remember, follow your heart. Your heart knows where it is and they'll lead you with the right way. That's where I'm about random shit. I just like the fact is that I've learned to just continue to stay focused on what I have to do. Like I was saying at the beginning of this video. So my next goal is just finding another hobby so I can start posting it up and you guys can start seeing it. It's gonna be more funner. I'm thinking about taking in basketball and even more funner than maybe football. I don't know. Maybe going swimming better, more longer. But I just know life is just what it is. Learn to love. Always stay focusing on what you have to do. That's what I would do. And keep it where it is, you know. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and like. Comment down below. See you next time.